I'm going to show you how to pair up your Shimano Di2 wireless shifters with a Wahoo Element cycling computer so you can see what gear you are in right on your computer screen. It's pretty awesome. First, we're going to pair up the Shimano Di2 with the computer, and then we're going to configure it with your Wahoo app. Okay, so first, to, to pair your wireless Di2, you need to activate your shifters to kind of turn on the system. Hit your shifter buttons a couple of times and make sure your Wi-Fi module is activated. And then we're going to go into press the menu button, which is over here. Press the menu button, and then we're going to scroll down using your scroll buttons here. Scroll all the way down to add sensor. Press add. So now it's going to kind of scan for sensors in the area. So I have this close enough. My wireless module is in my down tube, so it's only about a foot or two away. So it's going to scan. All right, now it says save Shimano Di2, question mark. Of course, yes. And now it says add gear selection data fields to pages. Well, that's kind of the goal here. I want to be able to see my the gear that I'm in on my computer screen. So hit yes. All right, and so now Shimano Di2 shows up on the sensor menu here. These are the other sensors I have set up. And this just shows the relative signal strength of the Di2, so that's pretty good. All right, so now we're gonna leave the menu by pressing this button over here. Now it went ahead and added a data field to my main workout screen. This is fantastic, this shows your cassette. This shows what gear you're in on the cassette. You switch a gear and it moves over, switch it back, moves up. So it's gonna show you that and that's fantastic, but I don't particularly like this. This is nice and easy to see, so some of you might like that. I am going to reconfigure that in my Wahoo Element app. I'm using this app here, it's the Wahoo Element app, and I've already paired it. So I wanna select the element that I have there. All right, now I'm gonna go I'm already in settings, so I'm in settings at the bottom. And this shows the different pages. So I'm gonna to go to my workout data page. We have a climbing page, a map page, and some other pages that I have set up here, but we're gonna go into the main workout page. That's where I am most of the time. And here are all the fields. You can have up to 11 fields of information that I've selected here. So if we go to the bottom, it says current gear visual and that's what we see here I don't like it this way so I'm going to show you I'm going to move it up into a different location so we're just going to press it I'm going to move it up one and you see it moved it up here I like that a little better just smaller more compact a little more out of the way and if I don't if I do like it bigger I just whoops I can just take that back down again so the other thing I can do, if you don't want it visual, you want the numbers. So we can go back into gear, back into our page selection, choose gear selection, and instead of current gear visual, let's go to current gear. And that changed it to the numbers. So it's in gear number two in the front and gear number five in the back. So if you prefer to have it show up that way, then that's how you do that. So that's basically it. I prefer to have the visual myself. So I'm gonna go back to visual and it very quickly moves it back to visual. I actually like it right up here. That's where I prefer to have it. All right, so that's how you get your gear selection of your Shimano Di2 wireless system to show up on your Wahoo Element. So if you like this video, please hit like below and please subscribe. All right, thanks for watching.